Anyway, jokes aside, in Lumion Legacy, a very important part of PvP is team building and forming a great team in order to win games. We have 7 spaces in our team, 5 in battle and 2 in the bench. I will help you select the right Lumions for your battles in this video. Firstly, having an idea or theme in a team is very important. For example, if you wanted to use your favorite Lumion, like Colosso, you can base the team around it. Since Colosso has a low speed stat, you can use Baffle users as a form of speed control, like your Snack and Dorogo, or bartering shackles onto Lumions in form as speed control. You can also use a Bane of Haste user in the team. This will really help you picture what you want to do. When I build a team, I often use this structure. One melee defense tank, one range defense tank, one revenge killer, one hazard remover, utility loom, two wall breakers. The melee defense tank is a must in a team. Without it, you will not be able to swap into melee attacks and ultimately will get sweeped by strong melee attackers such as Garlash, Hunter and more. Here is a list of melee defense tanks. Luminami. Seti Mars. Vent. Garbantus. Spreezy. Blotox. Obsi. Your Snack. Mutagon. Tyrex. Seer Knight. Odasho. Cosmere Encased. Now we have our first loom of the team, the melee defense tank. We should write down the weaknesses of this loom, for example, I will pick Vent. Vent is weak to grass, electric and poison so I will write this. Then write down what it can resist, as this is important for swapians. The ranged defense tank is also a must in a team. Without it, you will not be able to swap into ranged attacks, and ultimately will get sweeped by ranged attackers, such as Protogon, Zulong and more. Here is a list of ranged defense tanks. Tyrex. Venelin. Seti Mars. Terra Claw. Medi Toad. Char Tiki. Nima. El Iguana. Crack. Bezel Du. Strat. Seer Knight. O Dash O. Cosmere Encased. I would like to mention, Medi Toad is a great counter and check to Protogon, as it resists all of its moves. Many teams struggle with Protogon, so this could be your solution. Before we pick our second loom, we should make sure that we don't use another loom with the same weaknesses for our ranged tank. Since I picked Vent as our melee tank, I decided to use Venelin. Let's move on to Revenge Killers. These are looms that can come in and revenge its fallen teammate. These are often very speedy looms and can act as late game sweepers normally. Here is a list of revenge killers. Zulong. Garlash. Protogon. Gobby Demic. Hunter. Volk. Arapago. Deladrix. Tatab. Wendelin. Rev9. Let's go for Tatab as our revenge killer, as our Venelin is weak to Earthquake, and Tatab can tank Earthquakes fairly well. It is also great against Timber, Seti Mars, Tyrex and more. I would like to say this team isn't perfect, I'm just combining some looms together to give you a good idea on how to structure your team. The sets you use are also very important. Now we move on to the hazard removers. Hazard removal is very important when building a team. Poison barbs and icicle traps can really make the difference in a battle as it chips down your looms. Poison types can however remove traps from the field and two swap outs from a fire type can fully get rid of icicle traps. This could be very important as you may have a poison type and fire type in your team, so hazard removal may not be a priority. Here is a list of hazard removers. Crack. 
Infernix. Strat. Spreezy. Nima. For the hazard remover, we'll go for Stratchaser. It is immune to earth and quad resists bug, and we do not have any bug resists in our team. This will most likely be a mysterious dust set, and will have the move Gust. 4 out of 7 of our team is complete. The utility loom is something that supports the team, such as speed control, removing items or setting traps. Barter users, baffle users. A few moments later. Bane of haste users, slap down users, poison barbs users are all example of a utility loom. Here are examples of utility looms. Vesperati. Ursal. Terraf. Fly. Do Rogo. Neddy Toad. Your Snack. Skellic. Ellie. Guana. Nima. Valkyrie. Spreezy. Isigul. Seth. For the utility loom, I've chosen to go for Vesperatu. It can remove any loom's item, which is great support for your team, for instance, a Terraclar Tyrex health amulet being removed is great, as they no longer will have recovery. Also, we need a check and counter to Neddy Toad and Mutagen, so Vesperatu is our choice. Finally, we move on to Wallbreakers. Wallbreakers are looms that hit very hard and can often get through the more stally looms. They will often have a very high attack stat, and it is a necessity in teams otherwise stall will be your downfall. Here is a list of Wallbreakers. Falkyrie. Himber. Colosso. Joltief. Mutagen. Ikazune. Seth. Zephalin. Cosmi are unleashed. Fest. Medi Toad with specialization. There are more wall breakers, but I'm listing a few. So here's the team, I've added both wall breakers of Valkyrie and Himber. There's a lot of looms in my team that can swap into things weak to these two wall breakers, so they should be fine. <laughs>